Steve in Cheshire, England. He writes to me and says, monoblock amplifiers generally work better than a stereo amplifier, primarily because the power supply to each channel is separate. That is accurate. As I understand it, it avoids one channel being adversely affected when the other channel draws more power. That makes sense, but my perhaps naive question is this. If both monoblock amplifiers are connected into a double power socket on the wall, that power socket is fed from the same ring main in the house. That's what the British call this, but it's the, the wiring back to, the, to, to your uh, circuit breaker box. Um, why do you not experience the same power supply issues with two power supplies powering two monoblocks when they're connected to the same ring mains as the issue experienced with stereo amplifiers? If the answer is that the ring main has a much higher supply capability than the output from a shared transformer and stereo system, does a toroidal transformer with separate secondaries for each channel improve that ability? Whew, okay, a lot of, a lot of <laughs> questions here. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're basically right. It all is affected. So what he's asking is if you plug two monoblock amplifiers into the same circuit, the same plug set, don't those two interfere with each other? And yes, of course they do. It's one of the reasons why we build AC power regenerators that regulate that because as they're drawing current, the line is going up and down with the music. And that is not a good thing. It is going down, up and down, and modulating the music a lot less than the output of the transformer, which is really going up and down. So you got a little bit of wiggles over here at the, at the wall, big wiggles over here at the output of the transformer, okay? And all of that impacts the way things sound which again is why if you put a power plant regenerator on that wall socket, on that ring main, it uh, is going to regulate that power so that it is rock solid. And no matter how much you're drawing from it, it will never vary more than about a tenth of a volt. And that's what it does. Lowers the impedance, regulates the power, life's good. Okay, the second part of his question is, what about dual secondaries on a transformer? You know, we used to do that. It, it helps a little bit, but not much, because most of what you get in the sharing of the power supply on a stereo amplifier happens at the core, happens at, in, to the entire transformer. So when we have two secondaries, all that basically means is there's a, another coil of wire. There's, so let's back up remembering what a transformer is. A power transformer is essentially two coils of wire. An input coil, we call the primary, and that coil of wire is connected directly into the AC power. And as the AC power goes up and down in voltage, 50 times a second in England, it is creating a magnetic field that is growing and collapsing, growing and collapsing 50 times a second, right? Next to that is another coil of wire. This is called the secondary. Primary comes to the wall, secondary feeds our equipment. That secondary is the same thing. It's another coil of wire, and it picks up that magnetic field, and anytime you have a coil of wire in close proximity to a moving magnetic field, it generates an electrical voltage. So electrical in makes a magnetic field, magnetic field makes an electrical out but the two don't physically touch. And this is where we get the isolation of a transformer. Coil one, the primary, does not touch. Coil two, the secondary. And in between, we've got some metal stuff that, that helps out. Okay, so what he's saying is, well, what if I had two primary, uh, secondaries, two coils of wire on the output, each fed from the single primary? Well, again, that helps a bit with isolation, definitely better than just one, but it'll never be as good as two completely separate transformers. Monoblock amplifiers are absolutely better in so many respects than a stereo amplifier, which is why we make monoblock amplifiers. And we make stereo ones too, but 
If you can manage it, go monoblock. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks.